Welcome to Fox College Football, sponsored by Geico. It may be one of the outposts of the Pacific Northwest, but for years now, Autzen Stadium has been the best home field advantage west of the Mississippi. It is home to the number seven team of the country, the Oregon Ducks, as they host the Colorado Buffaloes. And we're off from Eugene, Oregon. Mikhail Wright. The 20. Tripped up just past the 30. Good starting field position for the Oregon. Four on the reception by Johnny Johnson, the third. Sets up third and five. Brown checks down. He finds Travis Dye. First down, catch and run inside Buffalo territory. Ducks take advantage. It's good for 20 yards. Got our first flag of the day. Offside. Number 99 of the defense making contact in the neutral zone. The five yard penalty that's still first down. That's Jay Ducks. He tried to do so a step early that time. They set it up for Johnny Johnson, the third, his second catch on this opening drive. Brought down by Quinn Perry. And, yeah, and I think Anthony using those legs effectively. Die not going far to the 20. That's Terrence Lang, the defensive end out of California. Treats. And he falls down. It was Jalen Sami with the pressure. A flag is out. Holding for 20 of the defense. It's a 10 yard penalty. It results in the first down. Now, what a break. But right in the middle of the field, you're just going to watch this takedown. And that is just a, a grab, and that's what those bank judges look for when that receiver gets turned. What a killer for Colorado. Third penalty for the Buffs on this opening drive. And swing it out to Die. Die inside the five, and he's in. Watch on the perimeter here, the two receivers. This is just a, a screen pass, in essence, into space. Johnny Johnson, you're going to see the Buffalo pancaked right there. Making his 55th start at wide receiver. And Johnny says it's not just the big guys that get takedown points. I can. Back to the ground. Jarek Broussard just getting back to the line of scrimmage. Interceptions this season leading the Pac-12. Whistle. It's a left tackle. Ball starts. 60 of the offense. The five-yard penalty is still third down. Third and long. A heave from Lewis, taking a shot down the sideline, looking for Brendan Rice, and incomplete. Triquez Bridges on the tight coverage. Carted off the field. And he was down on special teams duty. Good run, and a breakaway. Byron Cardwell, only his 10th carry of the season. Brown, the shotgun on third and three. Cardwell, big hole. Cardwell is off, and nobody's going to catch him. 34 yard touchdown run. Byron Cardwell, the first of his young. This is where you miss Nate Landman. Look at the two linebackers for Colorado here. They just void that A gap. <laughs> and it's not supposed to look that clean and easy. Defense struggling. Cardwell, three carries, six. Dumps it down to his tight end, Brady Russell. Russell's got the first down, second leading receiver. His 12th catch of the year. That's a good little call. You know. Slug it out. Trying to find some room, and Broussard's not going anywhere. Met there by Mikael Wright. 
Wright had a career best 10 tackles in that up to practice for the freshmen and they're showing it today. Brown underneath completes Troy Franklin's got the first down Franklin the true freshman top 10 receiver recruit out of East Palo Alto good for seven you really do feel his absence this afternoon. Brown remains perfect on the day. Williams gives Gat Brown to gain ground, spins, and it's tripped up just shy of midfield. McGee gets it up for the first. Now past the 40. They begin the second quarter. First and 10 for the Ducks. McGee, now the reception. McGee pushes forward for the first down. You just feel the momentum of this offense growing, can't you? you need to down run. Brown with pressure on his ankles, he throws down the seam, cut, and a touchdown. It's Troy Franklin, the first touchdown of the true freshman's career. Good time as a QB, be very careful throwing it late down the middle. A nice blitz pickup here, and he can feel that Buffalo had his feet the entire time. But he takes a risk here, throws it right over the linebacker ham in front of the safety day. Third drive of the afternoon for Oregon, all three. His first Oregon duck. Touchdown. This one's already getting out of hand. What are you telling Brendan Lewis and his Colorado offense? You just got to continue to do your job and execute every play. Quick strike, second catch for Russell. He's got run after the catch. Already inside of Ducks territory. A big gainer for the Buffs. 118th in the nation on third down. Last week, just three for 12 on the ground. Let's see where they put Broussard. Tempo. Buffalo's last in the nation in total offense. Broussard. Broussard running for the first. Broussard, an incredible story. Twice tore his ACL in his started, and he will get you yards. And they give him a breather. Deion Smith, the running back, now on first and ten. They give it the fresh legs and Smith trying yeah. to find the edge, and he does. He's got a first down run. His first carry today. Time to Lewis wide open back of the end zone caught for a touchdown Ty Robinson the true freshman his first career touchdown catch DJ James in zone coverage is thinking that he's got help but you see the safety there there is no depth in that drop there is no Steve Stevens remember he went out of that game that is Addison in his place at the safety spot I think the corner drive by the Buffaloes. Tremendous answer for Colorado for Robinson. Only his. The motion Montevallo, the tight end. On the ground, Travis Dye. We have not really seen him since the opening drive for. Brown with time. Checks down underneath Devin Williams. Williams spins for the first inside Colorado territory. Yeah, he's just a different one outside the stadium today. Keeper Brown, first down run. Brown last week a game high 85 yards on the bidding in September of this year. Tywar number 22. After his death, Aaron adopted that number 22. Tragic time in Salt Lake City. First down run, just needed one for Travis Dye. So the tribute down today. It's a good man to man coverage. You got to defeat. With time. Zips it across at the five. He finds Jalen Red, the fifth year senior. They're four for four on third down now. Goes underneath. This offense becomes that much more potent. Give the dive. Dive. Untouched. His second touchdown today. It is 
well. Bass and Moore, watch these two just move mountains. Just a double team to the second level. Makai Blackman is left looking at the jet sweep. This time a touchdown on the ground. And Oregon has found Pager each and every Thibodeau and long down the distance. No good. They set up the screen. And a big gainer. Rice is inside of Ducks territory. Good. Rice comes underneath it here. We got that defense guessing a little bit. Rice showed off that explosiveness. Goal some okay. tempo. This time Chase Penry tiptoe on the sideline. Penry just one catch over the last four. Lewis with plenty of time. He takes a shot. And that ball is caught. It is caught by Brendan Rice. What a grab. And what a sailed out of bounds. That time he gave his big receiver a chance. Looking and out of bounds. He had Fontano. Double move here. This took a long time to develop and throw. Tremendous protection that set up that opportunity. Rice backing up his words. Fontano tripped up at the line. That time he gave his big receiver a chance. Looking and out of bounds. You have Fontano coming out of the backfield. With time. Open. Shot. Tripped up. That was Arias Mikhail Wright. Timeout being called. If it is a contested ball, an opportunity to make a play, keep it a bounce. And move Fontenot in the backfield. They look that way. He's wide open. He's got a clear path. He marches in for six. Alex Fontenot, that was easy. Yeah, and that is a, uh, that is a bust for Tim DeRue. Fontenot's first receiving touchdown on the season. And you, because you're going to force communication from the group on the other side, Oregon brings somebody, and usually somebody has to peel. If you bring a defender like that, you have to have somebody peel out into the route. They do not. That is why you get into the bunch formations, right? Many times it's to run little pick routes. Well, not this time. They just swing the back out. And that is the answer in poor communication defensively. That's too. Trying to keep that trend alive here on third and one. And they will. Well, the decision you just cannot have. Sets up third and five. They set up the screen to die. Die with a shifty move to find the edge. For Oregon. Die is able to lunge forward. The ball comes out. Looks like the Ducks fell on it. That's a very day block. Brown. What a catch! Going up to bring it down. Devin Williams climbing the left. They motion Michael Pittman. Stop. Spins. Can't get out of bounds. Well, he's got to get out of bounds, and he knows it as they're going to now have to run and try to spike it quickly. Five seconds. <laughs> and Lewis remains perfect on the year. Only perfect kicker of the Pac-12. He's eight for eight now this season. Involved as well. They'd like to clean up a few things defensively in their coverage, but altogether pretty dominant half. Brendan Rice had some big moments in the first half. He was shy of the 20. They have not called his name yet. We'll see if Tibbo gets a chance to actually rush. One of the best players in the country. He smells it. They get it off and complete for the first down. Broussard has it. Yeah. <laughs> Double zeros. And it gets flagged. First time out of the half, Colorado. Well, they say they get the timeout called in time. Right, let's see if he gets another one on one opportunity to rush. Third and long for the Buffs. Thibodeau's coming. 
Still on the prowl and thrown out of bounds. That comes from both sides and is it for loss. The motion in Jalen Red. They find Dye out of the backfield. Dye turns up field. All kinds of real estate to roam. Big catch and run. Travis Dye. Finally pushed out of bounds by Trevor Woods. I mean, that is once again those throws out. To lead his team in rushing and receptions. On the ground. Cardwell. Cardwell. Gives a hit at the 10 down to the 5. Mark Perry on the other end. It's first and goal. Ducks. His first career touchdown of the first half. Brown keeping. You know what I kind of like, though? That was Jim Mack. Second goal from the two. Die is stuffed. He was seeking his third. Set up the option to die. Down to the pylon and into the corner. Third touchdown today. The second on the ground for Travis Dye. Outside, it's man-to-man -man coverage. Jalen Red is the smallest of the receivers, but he does the exact same thing. They take pride in it. I, I just don't want to go out there and catch balls, and you know that if everybody else is blocking, tight ends, linemen, heck, even your corners gets after it. Black comes in. Fifth touchdown today. That's two games. No problem, even with the penalty for Camden. Right, this has been a collective effort of everybody offensively setting the table. Brendan Rice on the return for Colorado. Turns that field past the 20. Taking a few guys past the 30. The play is being reviewed for potential targeting. The play. There's a personal foul targeting number three of the return team. This 15 yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the play. The first down for Colorado. Number three is disqualified for the remainder of the game. Lewis has to step up. Trying to look downfield now, just tucks. Still looking downfield. And his eyes are all over the place. And he somehow manages to get just past the 50, well shy. He covered a lot of ground there. 100 yards of total offense today. Brown rolls out, looking downfield. And the catch made. No, it was, yes, it was made. That was a fantastic catch by Devin Williams. Freshman into the backfield. And they give to Cardwell. Big hole to run through. First down and more inside Colorado territory. You can add another play of over 10. From the 44. Underneath. Spencer Webb, the tight end. Flag comes in. Andrew, I love the effort. Makes it second and 13 now. Taking a shot, and they make up for it. He finds Devin Williams. 25-yard touchdown strike. This season, this being the deeper concepts. They can throw underneath and have all season long, but you just don't run that route better. A big 6'3 receiver, long strider Devin Williams closes that cushion, sets the angle, and you couldn't. Lewis's leg has been busy on X. Play action. Caught and a first down. Lamonius Craig that time. On second and seven. Fontenot's got the first down and more. Good carry from Alex Fontenot. Scored one of the two touchdowns today. Third and nine for Colorado. Lewis has plenty of time. And that is shy of the marker. It was Fontenot out of the backfield. Lewis still looking downfield. First down catch made. Brady Russell 
Russell's got just enough. That speaks to the composure. They did not. Give to Fontenot. Fontenot is able to lunge forward. And it looks like he's got enough. A couple of carries. First and goal. Lewis. Brought down from behind. A loss of five. Goal down from the 10. Lewis to the end zone. His man falls down looking for a flag. That's Daniel Arias. Now there is a flag down. Oh, roughing the passer. 91 of the defense. This penalty will be forced half the distance to the goal. An automatic first down. We will extend the quarter for one play. That's Christian Williams who comes in here. They've not been able to get to Lewis a whole bunch. Fresh set of downs. Bontano. Try to spin cycle forward. I should have learned. Darn it. Second and goal. Fontenot going nowhere again. Swarm. Adrian Jackson, the first man. Fontenot trying to find the edge. Turns up. Lunges ahead. And they mark him just shy of the goal line. Timeout called. It remains Fontenot in the backfield. They give to Fontenot, and Fontenot is able to lunge across and get him for six. His second touchdown today. In Colorado, you will see him in the backfield here. He just leads up, man, one on one in that situation. Becker is good for the point after. This has turned into a pretty special place to play. And out of the state of Arizona, Ty Thompson is in at quarterback now. Trey Benson loses his feet. Benson out of Greenville, Mississippi, the freshman. As they go deep in the depth chart today. He keeps it himself. Thompson. It's hit at the 45. Mark Perry there with the tackle. There. For Oregon, throwing underneath the zone coverage. Thompson progressing through his reads, and it's intercepted by Colorado Isaiah Lewis. He's going to actually try to run a little fake screen vertical to the right. He comes off of it, but it's a little dangerous. Right, we saw Anthony Brown on a couple occasions get away with throwing late over the middle. He's looking to his right, but you do not see the coverage. And in that case, a sack. First and 10 from the 35. On the reverse, Rice, Brendan Rice, inside of Oregon territory. Pressure coming on Lewis. He's flushed. Dumps it down. Deion Smith out of the backfield. Nifty move. But looks like he's out of bounds just shy. Once again, I know this is going to get a second one here. He's got it this time. Put together. Second and 14. Lewis with time. A wobbler caught. Touchdown, Colorado. He finds his favorite target, Brendan Wright. Quarter from Anthony Brown that was a little late. It was dangerous. This safety right there in center field had a long time to try to track that football down and make a play on it. He cannot. And that was Addison, the safety. And, and the rollout. They got it. Chase Penry for two. 45 29. Outside attempt, and it goes right to the Ducks. Easy play for Oregon. 
Well, the ground game today has been over Ohio State. They've run for 232 today. Back to the ground game, first down. Cardwell takes it and he moves the chains. Mandy exacting of those guys up front. And they've had a heck of a day. To the tight end. Montevallo, Montevallo gives a hit. Maliki Montevallo, true friend. Second and five. Wide open, back of the end zone, touchdown, D.J. Johnson. First of the season for the tight end. Hammer away, hammer away with that run game. Good sell here by Johnson. He's done a little bit of everything in his career. Started as a defensive end at the University of Miami. He's played a little bit of it. Play. The pass was not tipped. So he's an ineligible receiver. Number 53 of the offense. That is a five-yard penalty from the nine-yard line to the 14-yard line. We will replay the down. That's on Ryan Walk. We got a timeout to delay here down the stretch. They bring McGee to the backfield on third and seven. Brown to pass. He finds McGee. McGee's got the first stretching for the end zone. And they're ruling him just shy of the goal line. Oh, he could there to try to extend the goal. They give him a chance. McGee hit hard, but he is across for the touchdown. He gets his. There's a whole lot of contact in the hole here. As I said, there's times there have been huge lanes. This was not one of them. That is be your own blocker as he runs right through the Mike linebacker. One point after is good. 52 29 numbers. He'll be taking care of business out on the road that will determine whether or not they're a playoff contender. That will wind things down today from Eugene, the number seven team of the country.